Why is my Wi-Fi so slow? I'm Eric from Home Network Central, and this is what we're going to figure out right now. This is one thing that you can do right now to optimize your Wi-Fi network. Now, a lot of people don't seem to know about this. If you're an expert watching this video, you probably already know about this, but some people don't. So what we're going to do is, on your Android, on your on your Android phone or on your Chromebook, like I have here, there's a program called Wi-Fi Analyzer. If you're on an iPhone, you can still search for Wi-Fi Analyzer or Network Analyzer or something like that. You're gonna have a different program, but it's basically gonna be kind of the same thing. So on your Android, there's an app called Wi-Fi Analyzer. And down here, it, the app looks just like this. You see this icon? Wi-Fi wi Analyzer. It's, it'll be just like that on your phone. It's the same app. Again, on an iPhone, it'll be a different app because they don't make this one for iPhone, but they, there's similar things, I'm, I'm assuming. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this. Now what this does is it shows the different Wi-Fi networks in your area. There's the 2.4 gigahertz and there's the 5 gigahertz. So you, there's nothing up here right now in this corner. See how it says Wi-Fi Analyzer? It's the same thing on your phone. There's a little blank space right here. If you click that, see I'm looking at 2.4 gigahertz. Now if you click that with your finger, now I'm looking at five gigahertz. Now I'm looking at two. So you just basically hit that right there and it'll change between uh, which uh, band you're looking at. So when I look at the 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz, now I'm looking at 2.4 gigahertz. When I look at that, you see all these networks here? These are all the 2.4 gigahertz networks that are in my area. Now you see there's like, there's a bunch of different colors and they're all kind of overlapping. They're all, inter basically if they're overlapping, it means those networks are interfering with each other. So you, there's channel numbers down here. You see one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it goes all the way to 13. There's a 14 over here, but that doesn't work for the United States. So if you're in the United States, you can't even use that. So basically, there's all those different channels, and these networks span across multiple channels or multiple frequencies. So you see mine right here, there's that orange one, homenetworkcentral.com. If I follow it down, follow it down to the bottom, it goes, it starts at one, and it goes all the way to channel five. So the channel this one is on, is in the center. So this, if you follow Home Network Central all the way down to the center, you'll see mine is on channel three. Now my router automatically chose that for me because when you turn on your router, it's automatic. It'll basically go out and find all the other routers and it'll negotiate on its own automatically what channel it should be on. So it, as you can see, it doesn't really do a good job. I'm assuming all these routers on are set on automatic and they're all overlapping. So everything, every other network that my network is touching is overlapping. So homework not central, homework, home network central.com is what mine is. It's touching all of these. The Netgear 84, it's touching PNet 756, blah, 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 blah. It's touching Rove dash cam, whatever that is. It's touching the PNet. Anything that is touching, it's overlapping and all those are interfering with each other. So ideally what I want to do is I want to change my channel. I don't want it to be automatic. I want to change it to an empty space where there's no other networks. Unfortunately, on the 2.4 gigahertz network, what we're, what we're looking at here is all the options that we have. So I don't know. You tell me where I should change my channel so it's not interfering with any other networks. You can't, because there's so many networks on here, there's nothing I can really do to get rid of the interference. Ideally, if, there's, if this looked a little different, I would want it to overlap with the least amount of channels, but, so I would rather overlap with one channel instead of overlapping with like four, five, six, like I am over here. I would want, if I could move it for, so I'm over, overlap, only overlapping with one other router, then I would do that. But there's not really anything I can do. So my 2.4 gigahertz network, which is showing up on this 2.4 gigahertz graph, I, I usually just don't touch that because there's nothing I can really do. So let's look at the five gigahertz. This is the one we're really concerned with. I'll go up here and look at five gigahertz. 
Now this is really looking a lot better because as you can see, there's only two over here that are overlapping with each other. They're on the exact same channel and there's all this empty space. There's these other networks. These ones are not overlapping with any, well, yeah, that one's not overlapping with any. That's mine, the blue one, homenetworkcentral.com-5G. That's my network. You see, it's not overlapping with anything. And there's all this empty space. There's this empty space right here. There's empty space right here that there's no channel number, so don't worry about that. So I can go up here to the top. You can do this on your phone too, and slide this over all the way to the end, and there's more channels over here. And there's one network all by itself. This one's also not interlap not overlapping or interfering with anything. So if I was going to optimize not my network, instead of making it auto, I would change the channel to one of these other numbers where it's empty. So it's pretty clean. What we're looking at right now is pretty clean. We got lots of open space, we got lots of options. So at my apartment back home, it's ridiculous. All the routers are either on the lowest channel or the highest channel. Whenever I go and look at this, all it's like it's either all here in this area or on the highest one, they're all here. So it's just two channels they're all fighting for, but there's all this empty space. So how do we get our network on an empty space so it's not interfering with other routers and getting interfered with. Mine is homenetworkcentral.com-5G. That's my 5G network. And right now I'm on channel 52. So automatically that's what it gave me. But if I was going to change it, I would log into my router. So I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to go to 192.168.1.1. That's how I log into my Netgear router. I go there and I already logged in, so it already it's gonna ask you for your username and password for your router. So I log in here, and to change my channel, I'm gonna go to wireless. Obviously, your router might look different, so it might be in a different menu or something, but here, it's in wireless. So my 2.4 gigahertz network, which we determined was kind of hopeless, there's not much we can do, so, but this is where you would change the channel. You see wireless network, 2.4 gigahertz, channel. So you go channel all the way over here. By default, it's on auto, but you can select any of these channels. I'm just gonna let you know on the 2.4 gigahertz, the kind of standard accepted channels you can use are one, six, and 11. Because if you choose one of those, it doesn't interfere with anything else in between. If you choose something like four or eight or something like that, then it's gonna overlap with other channels. But I mean, if, if you look at your spectrum analyzer, your Wi-Fi analyzer like I was showing you, and there's nothing on there, then you can choose whatever channel you want. But one, six, and 11 are kind of the standard channels that don't inter overlap with each other. So I wanna change my five gigahertz network uh, channel so it's not interfering down here is five gigahertz again it's the same setting channel by default it's auto if i go back down to my wi-fi analyzer it automatically selected channel 52 so that's the channel i'm on so let's say for example there was another network interfering or touching my network you see how these ones are touching they're, they're completely overlapping. So those are for sure interfering with each other. Now, even if they're, if one of those networks, if you were to switch it over to 40, they would kind of overlap a little bit. You don't want them touching at all. As long as they don't overlap, you're good. Actually, 40 might be good because, you know, it goes from 36 to 38 and the next one will be from 38 to 42. So I don't want mine to touch any other network on there. I don't want it to touch. That's my goal. So I'm going to go over here and let's say I was going to move mine. I wouldn't want to move mine. I wouldn't want to select 48 because it's going to touch over here. It's going to touch on 46. So I wouldn't want to go higher if anything, anything higher than 52 for me. So I'm going to go to five gigahertz channel. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to show you 
if I choose channel 40, I'm just gonna, cause I'm gonna change it again after this. I'm gonna choose channel 40 and I'm gonna apply. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna change the channel that my five gigahertz network is on. So I changed it to 40. We're gonna go back to Wi-Fi analyzer and we're waiting for it to change. See that went away. It was on 52, it just went away cause the router is restarting. Now it's gonna pop up over here once it's done restarting. But then it's gonna be touching both of these networks when it comes back up, you'll see. So there it is, it's coming up and you'll see it's still kind of overlapping. That's enough, you don't want it to do that. You don't want, it, if you can help it, you don't want it to be touching at all, not even that much, that's overlapping. So what I wanna do is, you'll see it goes from, it starts in 40 in the center and to the left it goes to 38 and to the right it goes to 42. So that we have to keep that in mind when we select our channel. So if, 48 would overlap with 46. So we want to choose at least 50. So between this channel, we have 36, 37, th or sorry, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44. So that's like eight channels in between. So from over here, we would go from 44 to 52. But since that was the channel we were already on, I want to choose something higher. So I'm going to go to channel 60. It's going to move my network way over there. So I'm going to move my network, go back to the five gigahertz channel, and I'm going to move my network to channel 60. And I'm going to go ahead and apply. Now, just so you know, when you do this, it's going to reset your router and then it has to renegotiate with all of your wireless devices. It's gotta tell, hey, this is the frequency I'm on. So anything that's connected to your router, when you do that, it's gonna disconnect. And you might even lose connection to your router temporarily, but it'll eventually come back. So this is restarting. It's gotta reconfigure the, the frequency in the channel that we just selected. And now I should be able to go back to the Wi-Fi analyzer and see my network disappeared right there because it turned off because we changed the channel. And now I'm just waiting for it to finish rebooting and come back up at 60 over here all by itself. Well, while we're waiting for that to come up, see those two networks, they're interfering with each other. How the Wi-Fi router works is it can only send or receive once and only one router can, re can, can send at a time. So if it's interfering like this, those two networks right there, only one router can talk at a time. So it's gotta wait. Your router's gotta wait for the other router to finish what it's doing and then it can start sending to your computer or your phone or whatever. So it's gotta wait. You don't wanna be waiting on other routers. This router right here is fine. It's all by itself. It's not waiting for anybody. If you turn this Wi-Fi analyzer on at your apartment, you're gonna see all kinds of networks interlapping, inter interfering and overlapping with each other. And then you're gonna see this big empty area somewhere on there that you can just pick one of those empty channels and most people don't seem to know that you can do this. So here we go, I moved my router to channel 60. Now I'm all by myself. I'm not interfering or overlapping with any other networks. So it's gonna greatly improve my latency. This is especially important for if you're gaming on Wi-Fi or if you're streaming on Netflix or something like that, you want to change your network to a channel that's available that's not overlapping so i hope that helped you out if it did please let me know in the comments if i forgot to say something just let me know give me a thumbs up please i have more videos subscribe if this helped you and i'll help you with the more stuff thanks for watching